Good afternoon, and welcome to the Amen exhibit at the Martinez Museum. Although the display is upstairs and will be until March 2019, we realize that some may not be able to navigate the stairs in this fine old building. So we've put together a brief video plus narration of the exhibit. The purpose of this display is to address the important spiritual aspect of our city and to hopefully promote a sense of community within this context. Many of the details about the rich histories of these churches are in the booklet that you have been given today. With this short video, we will endeavor to talk about a few of the artifacts that each church contributed to the display. The top of the display case features statues and a rosary loaned by Katie and Ronnie Ronis. Ronnie's father was of Philippine descent, and it was common in many Philippine homes to have an altar dedicated to a Catholic saint. The first shelf is relegated to the Creekside Church. As you can see by looking at some of the older church programs, it changed names a few times, from Mountain View Bible Church in 1931 to Martinez Open Bible Church in 1967. As the history in your booklet states, the groundbreaking for the current building, known as Creekside Church, occurred in 1981, and construction of the first phase ended in 1983. They have a large crab feed every year, where they raise significant funds for the schools. Terry Riley has been the pastor since 1992. The next shelf down holds artifacts and photos from the first congregational church. Due to a previous paint color, it used to be known as the Pink Church, and Barbara Patchen, a longtime Martinez resident and member of the congregation, painted the picture you see when she was a young girl. The black and white photo on the far left is of the original church from 1884. They have produced a couple of cookbooks over the years and have an active congregation today. The Reverend Catherine Schreiber is currently the worship leader of the First Congregational Church. St. Catherine of Siena Parish is next. A picture of the original wooden structure from the 1870s can be seen in a black and white photo on the far left with the current structure being built in front. One of the important contributions of St. Catherine's has been the parochial school, which was established in 1949. The Dominican sisters shown in the photo were an integral part of the lives of Martinez children for many years. Father Anthony of St. Catharines loaned many of the vestments you see on mannequins around the museum. The Morello Hills Christian Church is featured on this shelf. One of the things they're particularly proud of is the preschool on their site. The color photo in the center depicts one of the classes plus their caring staff. Each year during the Christmas season, Morello Hills Church also has a live nativity scene, complete with sheep, hay, and donkeys. It's always a well-attended event that the community looks forward to. Bill Francis is the pastor. The First Baptist Church, located on Alhambra Avenue since 1949, was first started in 1926 and at that time was located on Estudillo and Green. They too have written cookbooks for the congregation and the Martinez community. The Reverend Jim Anderson, who served as pastor from 1995 until September of 2018, passed away and the church is in the process of a search for a new pastor. This next shelf is dedicated to Grace Episcopal Church. Owners of the second oldest bell in Martinez, it was purchased in 1875 for $300 and is now housed in the belfry of the church. The Reverend James Abercrombie, who served as pastor in 1885, is buried in the Alhambra Cemetery. The Lambs Club, a boarding house for men, where Judge Bray originally stayed as a young man, is where services for the church were held from 1943 until 1955. This structure, located on 904 Mellis, is no longer there. The current church building was dedicated in 1969. The Reverend Dr. Deborah White is the spiritual leader. The Second Baptist Church, located on Las Juntas, has a wonderful history as well. In the early 1960s, not yet having a formal dwelling for a church, Sister Lutherine Trammell and other parishioners met in her home, and others offered their homes as well. This plaque lists the founders. In 1963, services were held in the home of Brother Miller's home on Baralesa. His wife, Sister Esther Miller, is now the mother of the church having served in multiple roles throughout the course of her time with Second Baptist. 
Pastor Ray Montgomery is the current pastor of the Second Baptist, beginning his tenure in 2014. Since 2002, a baseball league consisting of participating churches has been playing in Martinez. The winning team gets the name of their church inscribed on the plaque and gets bragging rights by keeping the plaque until the next season. Creekside Church is the current keeper of the plaque, having won last season's game. Thank you.